I wanted to brainstorm like a lot of great call-in shows on different topics and sort of workshop them over the course of the summer. And I told this to Chris, and then he informed me that I only got one episode, which um, miffed me at first because um, I am the godfather of his son and or daughter. I sort of forget which it is. <laughs> But I figured that the best workaround would just be to host three call-in shows um, at the same time. Uh, now, each will have their own special guest co-host and their own set and their own distinctive lighting features, which the tech booth has told me is cumbersome to the point of not worth doing. But <laughs> I've built a career on never letting cumbersome to the point of not worth doing stop me. So let's start with my first show, which is Not Happy For You with my guest co-host, Sydney Washington. Give it up for <laughs> Well, we're hoping uh, callers can really call in and pop off on the, the people or things that they are not happy for. Sydney, do you have one? Absolutely. All my fucking bitches that are on vacation right now, how <laughs> yes. dare you yes. go to Greece and then leave Greece and then go to Cuba. It's all we do in two vacations. Yeah. Uh, but when I asked you to donate to my gun GoFundMe, nothing. So, yeah, I'm not happy for you, bitch. <laughs> Truly, uh, no, I identify with that. There is um, a full gay scourge of how often we're at Fire Island and just yes. the buffer zones with which we post about it, which are like four weeks before and a full nine years after. It's, a, <laughs> it's truly obnoxious. Um, okay, so also tonight we'll be having um, the show Sexy Talky with my friend Andres Copea. <laughs> wow. Um, in this show, I'm really hoping um, callers will call in and tell us about the grossest sex you've ever had. Um, Andres, have you had any gross sex lately? I said yes to you off screen. Uh -huh. I was like, of course I do, but uh -huh. I really didn't talk it through with my boyfriend at all. Oh! So you're we not didn't... getting anything. Oh, okay. Really but but you're know. receptive to hearing about gross sex. That's all I want to do. Okay, I mean, I was in L.A. recently and fully gave a hand job under a bridge. Oh, tell me more! <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, I also had not discussed with my boyfriend if I would be sharing this, but uh, we just were, he lived on the east side and I lived on the west side, and we were like, where should we go? We couldn't make it happen, so we were like, we'll wander around and find a place, and the only sort of discreet place was under a bridge. It was terrifying, because the bridges there are not like the bridges here, where there's like a pedestrian community, you know? The milkman, the meter maid, the mayor, how do you do? They're, they're in cars, they don't go under bridges unless under great duress. It's fully international waters, my dumb white dick was out, I should be dead. And that's the definition of a troll. That's yeah. a troll, that's a full troll. That's a full troll. Now, do you expect that the people who watch Cable Access will have um, stories grosser than that? Because I really hope. Uh, I think so, but there's also a possibility that they might have no sex. <laughs> Which is in itself sort of gross. Yeah. Now, <laughs> lastly, we'll also be having the show The Problem with White People with my <laughs> guest host, Max Witter. Give it up oh for Max God. Witter. Now. <laughs> I was just having the most wonderful dream. What about, Max? I can't remember. <laughs> Do you mind if I get just um, a little, like, a, uh, just a light salad or something? <laughs> now, Max, I thought would be the perfect guest host for uh, the problem with white people. Do you have um, a problem with white people? If you could, and with just, like, the dressing on the side. <laughs> would be great. Um, I'm not allergic to walnuts, but I, but, like, when I... It's just that when I have them, I sort of black out and kill someone. Sure. <laughs>